Hey guys, as promised, I've done a little video on uh, Touch Retouch, one of Setup's many quality apps. And I'm going to show you how it worked on one of my old uh, grandparents' black and white photo. This is the photo. As you can see, it uh, needed quite a bit of work. I did try other apps and they had AI, but the AI just didn't work. So we're going to do the quick repair and you basically just click on the section and you can see how it's fixing it automatically. Sometimes if you don't like what it's done, you just do con op command Z and it takes it off and then you can uh, have another go at it. If you make the size of it smaller, it allows you to uh, be more precise. And I've really zoomed up the photo because um, it just allows me to, uh, you know, see what I'm doing. And it's um, pretty happy with it, really. Make it a little bit smaller. It's got a little compare button. And when you click the compare button, you can see the difference of uh, what you've done compared to the original photo. It's also got a clone stamp. And you could use that as well. It, you put the clone on an area of the image and then you can actually clone that area of the image on another part of the photo. And before I just did, just playing around with it, I did just dots, but you can also do little lines as well. And then it just fixes it up. So I'm just practicing around with it, like I haven't used it before, I'm just trying different things to see what works and what doesn't work. And uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with how it does. It's going to take a while because obviously you know, this photo is in pretty poor condition. And so it's going to need a bit of work, but as in all things in life, if you put a bit of work into something, you'll find out it's usually worth the effort. And so far, I'm pretty happy with how Touch Retouch is fixing up my uh, this old image of my grandparents on my father's side. And you can you see what, it, you know, comparing the, the difference. It's pretty cool. And I like the way you can go back and that way you can compare with the original. It's okay, I need to retouch this one a little bit more or that didn't come out well. So I'll revert to go back a couple of steps and then I'll try it again. And I just fixed up that chin because that wasn't uh, exactly to my liking. And let's try a bit of stuff on the brows. And look how easy it just takes those lines out. That is pretty impressive, I think. And it's better by the looks of things. See, that didn't come out right, so you just control Z and off it comes, and you can try it again. No, quite happy with this. This is this is working quite well. Look at that. Okay, that. That is amazing. It might not take as long as I thought. No, there's a bit of work to be done down the bottom part, but even that seems to be coming off fairly well. Considering how old this image is, it's amazing that back in the day they were able to take any photos at all. I mean, you know, it's not like today's quality where you know you virtually have no blur at all. But take keep in mind that. Um, I've really zoomed in on this photo, which brings out all the impurities. 
Let's work on uh, my nono's hat. Nono, it's Italian for grandfather. Yeah, that's not bad. This touch we touch also does other things. Like if you got a, an image of a photo and it had something in the image that you didn't want, or there was a character in the photo, you can actually erase that character. If you've got like a, a photo, it's got all um, telegraph lines through the photo, you could use that this program to get rid of those as well. So when you consider that touch we touch is just one of the quality apps that you get if you subscribe to Setup, to me it's well worth the subscription. If you had to, uh, like, um, I've actually subscribed to another uh, another website, and this website uses a. See the difference in that? Look at that. This website uses AI to colorize photos, and so once I'm finished with fixing up the quality of this photo, I'm going to upload it to the this other website, which will colorize it for me. And you'll see this at the end of the, this video. And I've used this website before and it is also quite amazing. And I'll, I'm only going to fix my nonna and nonno. And I'm going to leave the background as it is because it looks like it's, you know, the stucco. Even though it's the image is poor quality, it actually looks like it's a stucco in the background, which is adds to the image. I think that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. Look at that. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna do the whole photo because that's just gonna to take too long. I will do a little bit of the um Pot plant over here, and you'll see how that goes. There's that pot plant, just gonna fix that up a little bit. And that looking pretty good. All right, I'm gonna let it go at that, guys. I'm just going to um, finish this off and then I'll show you the finished image. So that's what it looks like now. That's what it looked like before. All in all, I'm really happy with Touch Retouch. I think it's done a brilliant job. The photo itself looks really good compared to uh, what it used to be. All that remains now is for me to uh, colour it and see how that goes. We'll check that out next. I've uploaded the image and this site really works quite quickly. Once you upload it, it gives you a whole heap of selections of different filters. You just you know, pick the filter that you like. and then you're good to go. I'll just go through the filters quickly to show you all the filters that there are. I've always had troubles with picking filters because when there's a huge selection, you actually you have to go through every single one of them to see which one you like, and then you end up going to the right at the beginning or whatever, or you forget which one you liked and you have to go through it all again. It's such a pain, but it doesn't matter. As you can see, there's a lot of filters. These are just the modern filters. They've actually got other retro filters as well. And then when you find the filter that you're happy with, and I reckon it was the first one, which was the classic palette. Just click on download. Let's have a look.
And there you go. As far as colour goes, I think it did a pretty good job and it did it really quickly. So I'll get, leave you a link to that uh, website in the, in the box down below. That's it guys, I hope you liked uh, this presentation. If you did, please leave a comment. Is it, if there's anything else that you would like to know, um, again, leave a comment and I will uh, try and answer your questions. That's Peter. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to catch you next time. Catch you later, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share it with all your friends.